Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have a new whiskey on a cask. It's a scotch. It's called the Loch Lea and is a new distillery in the lowlands. It was actually founded in uh, 2018. So you know, a couple of years ago, it would be five years about now. And it's yeah a lowland distillery. And the interesting thing is they actually got someone really famous and well, he is kind of famous, yes. Uh, and also very, very, very experienced. And that is John Campbell. You might know him because he came from Lafroig. I did my 2015 video with him and he is a when you talk to him, you realize he's a very, very knowledgeable guy. So he um, went to the Lowlands. I think uh, he's kind of a, a football fan or a soccer fan. And now he is uh, closer to the Glasgow Raiders or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to go into his personal details. But anyway, he kind of, um, not he kind of, he actually built this up from the start and from scratch, a new distillery. And that is really, really interesting because their motto is dare to be honest. Yeah, we'll come to that a little later, but let's talk about a little bit of the distillery. I'll yeah do a bit of B-roll here to um, show you where the distillery is. And uh, let's have a look. And it's very interesting because they have um, 90 acres of land. And in 1777 until 1784, uh, that land actually belonged to Robert Burns, the famous poet. I think he is like the national poet of Scotland. Everybody, every, I don't know any Scottish poets except Robert Burns. Burns. He is yeah, the Scottish um, poet. And this here is their first standard bottling, their first of their core range. And they go now under our barley. And what that means is uh, they actually do grow their own barley. So if you have 90 acres, then you can grow your own barley. And the lowlands are known for their barley. So they actually do the there uh yeah from from the grain to the bottle they do a lot themselves including doing their own grain in terms of maturation first fill burn barrels all are also sherry butts and str barracks no co not colored and not chill filtered so really sounds like a really good whiskey it sounds like an expert made the whiskey how he thinks a whiskey should be made. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Loch Lea is, I think an, it would be, will be interesting to see what they have right now, but I would be really interested to hold a 20 year old Loch Lea here in my, in my hand. And well, probably in 15 years, uh, I will do that, <laughs> but, Good whiskey takes his time. Yeah. Let's have a look. Ooh, that is nice and fruity with a lot of fresh fruits and fermented fruits and grapes. It, it smells a little bit like wine. Strange, strange. The STR Barriques. STR stands for Shave Toasted Rechart. So they take out a lot of the barriques casks of the wine and then they toast it so they burn it again. And uh, rechart is also the, the, the burning with the charcoal. So oh yeah, oh, toasting is kind of a heat treatment. So it's, it's really sweet and really, really fruity. Nice, nice fruity and, and sweet whiskey. And a kind of, um, it feels a little bit like younger whiskey, but if I would have had that in a blind tasting, I would probably say eight years, maybe a 10 year old. Some, some, yeah, I would say lighter whiskeys. Nah, they, they smell like that when they're 10 years old. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
Mm, this is this is nice. Mm, 46% transport a lot of flavors. Mm. This is this is nice because you, you have some some maltiness. It feels a little bit like you have a a maltiness in there. Good amount of fresh fruitiness. But from what I have in the glass, what I taste, yes, it feels like a bit of a younger whiskey. It doesn't have any metallic use. It does have some edges to it. So you feel a bit little bit of that a little bit of that burn, but it's uh, it's nicely built into. This is for a first core range. This is excellent. And I do love the younger whiskies every now and then. You can always have a few sherry old, old, old stuff. But this is a refreshingly, refreshingly fruity. Mm. Mm. Didn't expect it to be that way. Mm, expect usually when uh, when you go with with a new one, you have some STRs, sherry butts in there. You go for for some, I would say dried fruits and all that kind of character to to associate yourself with a bit of an older type this one this here is yes <laughs> i pick up their slogan an honest whiskey that says yeah i'm a bit younger younger whiskies are typically a bit fresh fruity so yes my honest review of that younger whiskey but nicely made mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. So it's around uh, 47, um, 48 euros, maybe a bit more in in the Netherlands. So if you uh, want to get one of these whiskeys and you happen to live in the Netherlands, then have a look at whiskey.com in our shop. We sell that stuff there. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.